Hello everyone and welcome to the Smart Just Talk Show. Today I will be talking about my opinions and thoughts on the E3 2017 Xbox conference. The week of June 11th is Electronic Expo for E3, where gaming companies reveal new information on their games as well as gaming platforms. On June 11th, Xbox held their conference for their Xbox One console in which they disclosed multiple announcements of everything revealed. I want to talk about the games that intrigued my mind, the new Xbox One X, and the overall quality of the conference. At the conference there were 42 games announced, and of those 42, 22 were Xbox exclusive software. I am obviously not interested in all 42 of those games, but I did have my interest peaked for some of them. The first three games on my list are the games I am most hyped to play and find out more about. Number one, Crackdown 3. Crackdown is my favorite first party franchise from Microsoft and the third installment looks really awesome. I am very glad to see the variety of weapons as well as the awesome skill tree from the first game. The explosions, the mayhem, and the gameplay look very, very promising and it looks like it is going back to its roots with the very first game. That excites me very much, and I can't wait for November 7th, 2017 to arrive. Number two, Cuphead. What can I say about this except for the fact that it has been a very highly anticipated game for the last three to four years. It's a game that looks phenomenal in its old cartoon Mickey Mouse style, and I love it so much for that. I am very excited to finally be able to play this game this year, and I can't wait to beat some evil cartoon bots. Number 3, Anthem. This is the new IP from Bioware, and it looks amazing. The cool sci-fi look it has is very appealing to me, as well as the fact that you can be like Iron Man. It seems like a promising game that I can't wait to see more of and see how it shapes up. Number 4, Dragon Ball Fighters. I am a huge Dragon Ball fan and I usually like buying most of their games. Last year I purchased Dragon Ball Xenoverse and now I can't wait for Fighters. It looks so much more like the anime and, it, and the fights look intense and promising. Number 5, Sea of Thieves. A game I have been looking forward to for a while now and it still looks great. I was a bit disappointed on the graphics and textures of the game, but the gameplay does look very fun, and I can't wait to search for treasure. Finally, number 6, Forza Motorsport 7. I am a huge fan of racing games, but as of late I have been loving more of the open world style racing games like the Forza Horizon series or Burnout Paradise. However. I do still enjoy the more simulator style games, and I can't wait to play Forza Motorsport 7, as the last one I played in the series was Forza Motorsport 5. It looks to be a really great game that has some cool weather effects to add to the racing experience. These are all the games I am looking forward to playing on my Xbox One for the next year or so. As of late, I was playing many Xbox 360 backwards compatible games on the system, so it's glad to know I will be using the console for new games releasing soon. A new console in the Xbox One family was also announced at the conference, the Xbox One X, a new mid-generation console for the more hardcore, performance-hungry gamers. The console is a true 4K, HDR, 60 frames per second console with the price tag of $499.99. I am not very interested in this console as I am not the target audience for it, even though I do have a 4K TV. I do see the appeal for the console for other gamers, and it will be successful in that market. However, if I were a gamer that didn't have the Xbox One yet, that conference wouldn't have convinced me to purchase an X. Rather, it would have convinced me to buy an Xbox One S. The Xbox One X is an interesting proposition though, and I hope the people that do buy it enjoy the console and feel it's worth the $500 investment. All of this news, the 42 games as well as the new console reveal, was told through a 1 hour and 45 minute press conference. 
the conference did have a slow start, but it did have a nice build up and pace afterwards. I loved the fact that they talked about the new console at the start to get it over with, and then just focused on the games and only the games. There were very few interruptions where developers or Phil would come out to talk. I love the way they pace their games and the cherry on top of the first look at Anthem. Overall, I will give Microsoft an A for their press conference this year. The Xbox presentation has made me very excited for future games as well as for future gamers who purchase the X One X. Microsoft seems to be bringing themselves back up from the ashes of the early Xbox One days, and it's really awesome to see that happen. Here's to an awesome year for Xbox One owners. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out my other E3 2017 opinion articles on Nintendo, PlayStation, and third parties. If you would all like to follow me on social media, my links to Twitter and Facebook will be in the description below. Finally, if you would like to read my blog posts on the sim similar topics, my link to my Medium page will be in the description down below. Thank you.